How long have I known you really, though? You knew me. You knew young, early 20s me. Different me. I knew you before 20. But we didn't really cultivate a bond until Rutgers. Cultivate. And then we harvested a bond. And I'm trying to diminish a bond. <laughs> but it was... You know what hurts me? It hurts me that when we meet new people, you still say, oh, this is my boy's cousin. <laughs> Can Your you, eyes are can glassy. You, can you not do what that? What the fuck, dude? Are upset. you Nate Robinson? That's upsetting. Oh, you really don't like that? You don't like to be referenced as Gary's cousin? No, 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 no. No, I'd be ashamed to no, be no, no. Gary's cousin, No, no, no. We, we, have, we have a strong enough a relationship where you don't have to introduce... You don't have to hand me off as somebody else's friend. People ask me about you. You know what I say? We grew up together. When I hear you say, you know what you say? Oh, he's my, my boy. Oh, that's my, my boy family. My boy. I'm babysitting. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me put my away message. My away message. And then everyone gets a door slam. <laughs> I hear my girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Fucking, dude. Oh, 90s, early 2000s nostalgia. That's the whole part of the sh That's like the whole thing here. Half my yeah. branding is LOLs and with a Z. A, we, I can't believe we just did a 90s episode on our other podcast. Framing and we it. didn't even mention we didn't even mention instant messenger. You don't if you don't talk about aim. I think we spoke about. <laughs> You're not even I think talking we spoke about Pokemon more than instant messenger. That's so dumb. And the only value in Pokemon. All right. So, did you have cards? Hold on, I gotta put the lyrics up. The lyrics to what? My way message, boy. That's fucking amazing. What are you talking about in a way message? Are you on an, an app I don't know about? Fumble. <laughs> Isn't? Oh shit, we're recording. Wait, wait, let me have a sip of this coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get a cup of Joe. What is this? Is it, what kind of milk is this? Delicacies. I only do oat milk. Delicacies. Okay. This is so sweet. Well, we're, no, I mean like it has we're boozing on it. Like I, this was just a treat. This was a treat with caffeine. Ungrateful piece of shit. Before the a week after Thanksgiving. You surprised me because I think you are so shitty. What? And then you do something like this and it's, it's so hard to hate you sometimes. I'm a man of service. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hospitality boy. I have to figure out a new th I throw this up and it's a real and blood gonna, thing. And you're going to get jumped. That's a real you're blood gonna thing. You're going to get jumped. It's a dip set. It's a real blood thing. Not out here though. Who's going to jump you? The lowriders? They're going to walk up and be like, yo, cuz, episode four, grandma naked, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Make your finger, make your fingers different, cause we we should do a his fucking hood is popping up. Oh, that's funny. I was like, he's gonna give me an aggressive blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where are you going with that? Because I'll take, I'll take hard wow, wops. I'm, I'm already sweating, but this is part of my look. Yeah, yeah, you look great. The mu I, you know what? Everyone, every mustache is whack. That is a dope mustache. I appreciate that. It's a super dope mustache. Here, zoom in on it. You gave it a little it's height. A you gave it a little length. Know. That's density. That's why I tell right. people, you got to get one of those Latinx uteruses. Because if you want fertile children with bountiful hair and edges, you got edges. I don't think people realize how hard it is to grow a mustache. A I decent think. one. If I grow a mustache, it's, it's bad pussy hair. It's ugly. It doesn't... No. Well, this didn't grow in until like two years ago, and I'm 30. That's fine. That's fine. I don't want to hear a 30-year-old argue about not having facial hair. No, I know. Yeah. You know who argues about not having facial hair? Kid, guys who are like 5'10". I'm like oh. six foot. Yeah, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of separation from these people do you think I have? <laughs> this is very true. No, it means everything, actually. Yeah, that on this, paper this I can put. Hot and cold and I'm 6'1". And I'm 6'1". This hot and cold balance? This is good. Right? It's going to destroy your colon, but... Yo, Martini Boys, hold up. Martini Boys, cheers, dude. Clank, clanks, Grandma, Martini Boys for life! Wait, wait, shout out, shout out the blue olives. The blue cheese olives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You brought blue cheese olives jarred already, That's which class. is super suspect. Because honestly, to trust something that was stuffed into an olive and wasn't done freshly, but I still appreciate your effort for bringing them. You know what I mean, though, right? They're, they're organic. Pickled blue cheese floating in a jar, they're still banging. They're organic. They're still banging. I just, you know, I'm paying a picture of storage, of con you know, considerations and all that. Right. But martini boys, dude. And it's good to have you here. When do you have a martini? And we and we strafe blazing hip hop and R and B out here. Where's your electronic fuckboy cigarette? And that's a good one, dude. I took a hit of that earlier, and I got the sillies. <laughs> Nothing worse martini than, boys. than helping my hookah addiction. 
Yo, what's up? I gotta buy an actual hookah. I miss actual hookah. Even though they're... I think you should buy it just as a prop. As a prop? Yeah. Have it on your desk. Talk about your roots. I'm just gonna have a, a vase, because that's what it is yeah. if you're not using it. Yeah. Talk about your... A, a coal-loaded vase in the frame? Both hoses? No. And it's toxic. When I lived... I don't even think you ever went to my place. When I was 19 and I first moved out of my place... I, it was like after an argument with my brother. You were living with that that, that big stocky dude, Ralph. Yes, Dave. Reckon Ralph. And some. I, and it was, that's it. It was two guys. And and they were like hookah people. So they, they were, always they were, had they hookah were, burning. They were gross, right? No, one of them left his clothes everywhere. And I remember I went down to like the basement fridge, but I opened the fridge. I mean the freezer, and there was clothes in it. <laughs> I'm like this is literally fresh to death. <laughs> And he and then I approached him about it, and his response was, "Oh, oh you saw that, <laughs> dude, dude? This there's gonna be like f maybe four people who see this. They're gonna be like, oh shit, that's I get to say it and bleep it out, but I don't I don't want to. I think I know I I can picture him. I think I know who you're talking about, but I can't think of his name. Yeah, if you don't even know, it's not even worth the mention. So he was like, oh, oh you saw that? <laughs> Wait, you so you moved out at 19 because you had an argument with your younger brother? Yeah, my, it, you know what? With it's, your senior in high school brother? No, no, I was. Um, he's what two years younger? He was. We were. It, it was like I was second year college. He was first year, something like that. And we got into an argument. And you know what, it, what it is? When you're 18, 19, your chest is out. You're big boys. And the altercations become big boy altercations because, you know, your testosterone and shit. But my mom just got scared after that one. And I'm like, I can't even live here because my mom's afraid to run errands if we're here in the house together. Right. So I, 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 I went on Facebook, I remember. And then they, they hit me back immediately on some, oh, someone's leaving, 500 in a month. I was like, say, say what? Uh, and it was a great little experience, but I, only, I, think it, I think I made it eight months and it bounced. But they had hookahs running on the reggae. And... I always had company over. It was very much a bachelor pad. And hookah's running, hookah's running. And I would just take always a few hits every like few hours. A month in, I would be doing, I would be in my car looking like a fucking fish in an aquarium. Just, <gasps> I would be in traffic, like short of breath. And I went to a doctor and everything. And they're like, you have asthma symptoms right now. And they're, it's from allergies. And I'm like, how about blue mist? <laughs> Because I knew it was hookah. And I told him it was hookah. <laughs> I was like, how about watermelon ice? And now I know it was that. I know it was that. This wasn't a sporadic right. allergy wave. Hookahs, they got it's such power. such a cultural thing. It's a cult. But, you but, also, you, but you also smoked Newports at that time and weed. I smoked Newports for 10 years. Right. Someone, said, you know, some, someone said some shit that... And you were probably smoking a Newport while they were passing the hookah around. 100%. Yeah, I was deucing, I was deucing new is new in between. Newport, so it was a one hundred. Easy hundos. They taste different. That's why right. I think I think uh I think the Newports that are in bodegas, the Lucy's, seventy five cents a dollar now probably. They are. They're they're bootleg Newports, and I know from my father's bodega. They're fake. One. Yeah. So wow. So they, they come, so they come with these stickers on the on the bottom of the carton. Yeah, yeah. And if the sticker is orange and now red, my father would get them for half off. Because they're they're made out of fucking non Newport manufacturer, but wow, but they were half the price. And, and people, and people did he never lose knew to check. Oh, all the time. Your pops had a bodega. Yeah. First of all, it's bodega. I, let me have fun. Uh, he had a bodega. Let me have fun. My dad was like that, and it was so annoying. He was like, "Did you say Santa Monica? Like, Shut the fuck." Oh, no. LA makes you that way. Yeah, right? La Siena, right? Chahanga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, Los Virgenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Virgin. What was the worst? What is the one of the Los Feliz? Because it's literally Los Feliz. And yeah. everyone goes Los Feliz. And it's downtown. Like, you go to a government building, you'd be like, oh, I'm here, resident of Los Feliz. They're like, you said that perfectly. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. Downtown LA. Downtown LA right now is a bad part of Honduras. <laughs> it's just a series of tents. How do you say that with an accent? What? How do I say what with an accent? Downtown LA. It's, it's just, I just, I'm throwing an NG in there. That's it. Downtown. Figueroa. 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 But it's Figueroa. Sunset. <laughs> Cienega. I mean, if you think about it. Cienega? Imagine you're trying to make eye contact with me and I'm just. You know what it is? I realized the more, I'm, I'm figuring this out and the angles I want are more evasive. I know. I don't I, need I do to that. look at you. I've looked at you for mad long in life. How long have I known you really, though? I know well, Gary's timeline. I don't really... 
you knew me, you knew young, early 20s me, different me. You knew mid 20s me, different me. I knew you before 20. Yeah, I knew you we, when yeah, you were like we, elongated. We, we, yeah, but we didn't really cultivate a bond until Rutgers. Cultivate. And then we harvested a bond after Rutgers. Yeah. And now I'm trying to diminish a bond. <laughs> <laughs> but it was. You know what s- hurts me? It hurts me that when we meet new people, you still say, oh, this is my boy's cousin. <laughs> Your not, eyes are can glassy. You, can you not do what that? What the fuck, dude? That's are you upsetting. Nate Robinson? That's upsetting. Oh, you really don't like that? You don't like to be referenced as Gary's cousin? No, 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 no. No, I'd be ashamed to no, be no, no. Gary's cousin. No, no, no. no. We, we have we have a strong enough relationship where you don't have to introduce. You don't have to hand me off as somebody else's friend. No, I just you know what it is. <laughs> the way you present yourself, I'm like maybe if I just add a tear. When people ask me about you, you know what I say? We grew up together. When I hear you say, you know what you say? Oh, he's my, my oh boy, that's my, my boy family. My boy. <laughs> I'm babysitting. <laughs> Yeah, I'm cousin sitting. And so look I, at this. LA wants to cousin sit you on the face. <sighs> you love going into this house. You should, you should, you should have, you know how like that kid, toddler, child, infant is famous for unboxing toys on YouTube? You should film you unboxing your DMs. <laughs> it, it, it would be, and it's like, and it's gender fluid. Oh, 100%. Yeah, it's very progressive. It's a lot of fluid. (laughs) And (laughs) you you think I'm writing this. (laughs) You see, I pan the camera over and there's like like four Asian kids that's typing and it's up on a teleprompter. If only you could get my, if only you had a TV that you could put my DMs on a screen. We need a new TV out there. I'll get that TV mounted out here and just run it like a teleprompter. Like a confidence monitor. A lack of confidence monitor. (laughs) Yeah, people are sometimes surprised when I tell them how many unread DMs I have. In the beginning, I loved it. Yeah, yeah. In the beginning, the attention was addicting. The only ones I don't read are the ones if you open it and it's like eggplant water drops, like, no. <laughs> and they're probably one of my followers, right? Yeah. yeah. I'll go into their page and it's like the only person in common right. now is you I, or you and Aristotle. Now, when I go into my DMs and I don't have 99 unread messages, I'm kind of upset. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> are phone lines down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, when I post a picture, I'm fishing. I'm just, is it more? I'm, 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 is it more spaghetti squash or is it more peaches? Um, it varies. More, but the let's peach, say but more. The, but the peaches are usually spoiled, so yeah, it's more spaghetti squash. I was talking earlier about horoscopes and and uh, astrology, and, and I'm like, it starts with a fucking. It might start with a BuzzFeed quiz. Later, you go into horoscopes because you get more curious. And Alex hit me with the Tony Robbins assessment the other day. The one that I that I posted. Are you the fucking reason I'm doing this? Yeah. That's the one that you shitted on me for. When you're like, this is inaccurate. You can't be analytical and tact at the same time. She That's what that was? And I spoke about it. And then she asked me to send her the link for her. Yeah. Why did you guys... Get out of Alex's you DM. Guys, <laughs> for the love of God. She slid in mine. And I read it right away. <sighs> What'd you get? Coach. Uh, I, got I, mean, I mean, the only answer that's one word on that thing is the, the label. And my results, coach. Right. Yeah, I got because it. then there's a bunch of things. It's like you're this, you're that, you're that, right, you're right, that. Right, right, right. And was it, was it accurate? Well, it has to be accurate because it's based on your answers. It was scary That's on the difference between the spot. that and and your horoscope. It was scary on the spot. Yeah, but your horoscope tries to your horoscope tries to narrow in on you based on where the star is in reference to traffic on the fucking four hundred five. By the way, the poll that I put was like seventy nine percent astrology and nineteen percent, twenty nine percent. Tony Robbins. Oh, see, I thought Tony. Look, I get Tony Robbins was have been has been having people attend banquet halls to hear him speak for years. But shallow howl was the extent of Tony Robbins for me. No, so was, oh, to okay, know that you. people are comparing Tony Robbins and ast- people astrology, people live by right. And I'm realizing now, Tony Robbins is like a Joel Austin. Right, he's a savior to people. A lot of people were in my DMs. He looks they, worth they, trusting. You think so? There's something about people, him that looks trustable. My, a lot of people are in my DMs saying how much they hate Tony Robbins. Yeah, a lot of people are in your DMs constantly. So, especially how they hate Tony Robbins? Yeah, Rick, For what now? People, people think that motivational Ricky speakers too. are scams. Okay. So, like, there's no, there's nothing hidden. You go, you see the product, and right. you don't buy a second ticket. They don't thrive if you don't go buy a second ticket. 
But they're that good that people continue. They do not thrive off of first timers who don't come back. No one is no one has that reach. You right. need to sustain and have people return. So they have something. And it's not a, that is the least of a scam. The product is up for you are it's a feel living breathing seeing that's the most product there is. It's a service. And you come fucking back. So it's up to him to say the same shit and then lose you after the second visit or be new and better. And and obviously you have if you have that kind of following. I mean, it's not ma I don't know how massive it is, but it but it's no different it's no different than calling a therapist a scammer or or fucking clinical psychologist. What they're doing is they're taking your emotions and Well, I mean, using, at least they what have this What they're doing is they're taking your emotions and they're using it against you. Not against you, but they're they're capitalizing lean back, on that. Lean back. You're a conspiracy oh, theorist? No. Get cozy. Stop uh, sitting on your foot. It's comfortable. You got a big foot. <clears throat> Did you ever Cuz you have one of the biggest or one of the most significant body transformations I've ever seen in my life, but then again, I've known you from an intimate proximity. Right, as Gary's cousin. Yeah. You were like Stretched out fetus when I met you. And now you got body mass. <laughs> you got BM. <laughs> so do you ever took sauce in any way? Do you ever take steroids as I an wish. injection or as a pill or in any way? No, no, no. I wish. You know, you were actually one, like, of, the you were just actually one of the people that black. indirectly talked me out of it. That directly or indirectly? Indirectly. Talked you out of it? Because you told me why you wouldn't do it. And when I was talking myself into doing it, you said that you don't know if you can handle the psychological effect of taking steroids and being that strong and then not being able to do it once you jump off of it. And I was like, you're right. We have addictive personalities. If I wow, do it, dude. I'm never getting off of it. I'm insightful by accident. <laughs> Bless. Uh, Damn, I like that. And I like that you put it on the air. <laughs> you know? Martini boys, how at us. Now that like the election, because it's done, it's won. I hate that there's a part of the world that like they think Trump's got a chance, a fighting chance. That oh yeah, yeah, like the the Crowder, Stephen Crowder and his people, and Ben Shapiro. To me, that yo, that what's going on there is like that's like the closest thing to fascism or dictatorship I've ever seen, where they're just like denying. And I'm like, okay, I'm okay. But now that Biden has won, because I'm definitely not. Now that Biden has won, right? Isn't it fucking weird? That you can cash out social security at age 65, but we're hiring a 78-year-old president. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. The government made a decision as 65 is the age where your fucking mobility and brain and cognitive abilities are garbage enough that you get supported for free. Yeah, but... That you get Uncle Sam as a sugar daddy. But we got a 78-year-old president. Look, I'm, I'm glad... Wait, considering wait. the alternative but that's like strange i want to do it up there with frosted tips and gauges do you know what i get like do you, do you know what i mean i need i want an idea man it, our presidents still look like they powder wigs in a way we live in a country that forces companies to be equal opportunists and then you want them to be able to turn away a president because he's too old also that's ageism huh Social security is it's gonna it's gonna dry out. We're not gonna touch it. We pay into it. We're not gonna touch it. You don't think so? We're not gonna get nothing. We're not gonna get nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. All all sense matter. Yo, matter of fact, you know what? I actually have. I want to sh fucking show you something. <clears throat> no, because we were talking about body transformations earlier, and uh, I saw your post about yours. You know what's funny? What? You know what I thought? And don't be offended by this. Now that I look at the photos from back then, I'm not that big. Yeah, but you were massive to us back in the day. Because you were cartilage <laughs> and elasticity. Like, you had no nothing. So then you saw my veins, and you're like, oh, that's like my dick alone. But now you've 20-fold grown. You gotta, you gotta so perspective. Oh, no, I'll <laughs> reference. Oh, absolutely. I know you were a fucking blockhead. Like, when you before you moved here was your biggest, huh? Oh yeah, when I came to visit with my ex, you remember that? You were and mad. That, I, I think we went. That like, was so I funny went, that you brought her here. I'm like, you're, are you? You're here for him to shop. He's shopping for his future, and I know it's a lonely one. <laughs> and she would just be by your side. I'm like, you're brave, Shorty Rock. You know what's you're funny? We brave. went I, when that when I came here. I think we went like two, three years without seeing each other. And I remember how fascinated you were by my progress, and I was a little fucking. I was a little. I was a little hyped about that. I'm not gonna lie. Your opinion matters. Well, I don't know why, dude. Have you ever? Because you were like, when you were feeling yourself and partying and you know just just getting it out 
you were in New York, and there was a lot of these like Dominican, Cuban, Puerto Rican I girls. Also, I also had a skill set. What was that? Dancing. Dude, that foolish two-step. Oh. Oh, moth to a flame. <laughs> the second you go. No, I know it. How do you not meet someone when you have at least a two step and you go to like one of those bachata or merengue? Right, right, right. But in get ding, 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 get get ding. I don't care what. I don't care what I grew up as. I would have ended up dancing merengue. Like I would have, da- I would have been dancing those things. There is no. I don't care if you're from Iceland. Anyone can develop that two step, and you can go and you meet. But not every no no not, not every, delightful. Because sometimes if you're a bad Dominican. dancer, you're pulling out a, a Latino with a mustache and forearm hair, dude. <laughs> and far that's a cuban again cuban dominican puerto rican caribbean where god forbid moisture hits that forearm that you, upper forearm that conseco yeah what do you think is in the sasong like, that they fucking grow forearm here no it's 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 because and of mustaches you know what it is it's, it's because, because of who we are it's because they go in the bathroom and they use the same clippers that their dad uses to shave their mustache is that we all have this guy named Boris from the Eastern Bloc in our DNA <laughs> the, who passed through Hispaniola and Cuba and Puerto Rico. There's fucking this Boris who is in our bloodline. And that's what it is. That's why our, we got a big toenail with a comb over. That's why we got n- nipple hair. That's why we got... I got nipple fur. That's ill. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't get... what. How, why do we have hair on our toes at all? On your toe knuckle? When was God like in a rush and his assistants got like a clipboard and a headset? They're like, so toe hair. He's like, yeah. And what about it? He's like, men only? He's like, yes. He's like, which toes? He's like, the big one. Fuck. Why? Do you ever go get a pedicure and you turn away when they're getting to that ugly nail? You ever not get a pedicure because you're not a disgusting person? I'm a crafty man. No, look no, at this. you play enough. You, play, you, play no you don't fuck you women with out. nicer nails. Hey, grandma naked, grandma naked viewership. I don't want to show mine. You don't. You don't fuck women with better cuticles. I would show mine, but you'd lose followers. Take a walk. Why? Let me see what yours look like. No, no I'm not holding my glasses. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. Imagine I have to now, imagine for you to land in your comfort zone again, I have to censor your fingertips you know and what's bl- funny? put a blurry. You know what's funny? Ironically, my nails are probably the thing I'm most insecure about. Why? I don't know why I'm looking at my feet. I got socks on. <laughs> Why? I have, I have a discoloration on my nails and they're like fucking blood purple. Dude, it's like trendy to be discolored. That I should go black. What's that thing like, when you uh when you lose pigmentation in your skin? Um I was just It sounds I was like just a looking, Latin name. I was just looking at Winnie Harlow today. Vitilago. <laughs> that literally sounds like a Greek myth. <laughs> Vitilago. <laughs> and then you talk to someone in, in your country and they're like Vitaligo. They're like, oh yes, Saint Saint Vitilago. No. That's like trendy now. Oh, I know. I've seen him. I was like, I want to put, a red, Sam, I put a, a red handprint on one of those white spots. That's why Sammy Sosa was ahead of the game. That's not he what was happened. Trying. He was trying to go a Vitilago. He did whatever makeup Dave Chappelle did when he played like a white anchorman. I don't know what he did, but it's not Dave Vitilago. Chappelle? Dave Chappelle went? No, he just, uh, he would just like powder his face when he was like a white anchorman in any of his sketches. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when he was... Uh... Damn, so you never took sauce. That was honestly what I, I wanted to, to get to. I never took sauce. Even, I'll do it if To you this do point, it. My, my own brother, if I like, if the conversation came up and I was alone with him in a second, he's like, okay, now, come on, it's been six, seven years. Tell me, did you? Like even he, because he has a memory that I was big But we, like but we all did. That I was beast, like beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I look at photos and I was like, nah, he didn't. Well, those, you know, I wasn't great in photos, but I would stand in front of you and... <laughs> It wasn't great. Yeah, either. you know, you look threatening. And you were bald. Yeah, you you wouldn't be, you weren't easily befriended. So I wanted to ask you, have you you have definitely gotten to bed with one of these dark arm haired Latinas who maybe took that trip to Colombia on the hush and got some lumps or dis or, or, or displaced some lumps to got some lumps? Have you not? Um no yeah. Haven't we all? I never clapped Brazilian butt lift cheeks or just fake cheeks in any way in any measure i never have i've no off the menu i've gone artificial <sighs> that's great i've had but really big fake butt Nicki minaj but i know you it's in your resume right there there I, I i don't what's the question is this a yes or no question or do i need to elaborate yes and how extreme to the point where one time i got knocked back 
huh. swinging. Yeah. And was it like the skinny well, chicken is, legs too? Like skinny legs no, no, with the no, big butt? All around. Like, so she I, had. I, so I, I mean, know, she probably I had know, a big butt and then enhanced that have it. taken from here and gone from here and just started fucking tapering. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get a brook. <laughs> Balance. Wow. Yeah. Do you saw fucking Hassan Minhaj with his fucking Kohans, dude? That's amazing. I saw him shout you out or no, respond. You just, yeah, he just left. Don't you wish? That was just a clap back. Oh, you made me feel worse. Now, this girl, because this girl apparently paid two G's. For a Brazilian butt lift, have you seen this? I'm just gonna tell you guys what's here. So this is my garment. I'm really, really swollen, really, really swollen, and I got a BBL. Um, I got my entire back liposuction, and pretty much everything is like blending together because I'm super swollen right now. I did get it done in Mexico, and it was about oh. four grand. She got it on Groupon. Hospital stay and everything Fuck included, you. except the garment. I had to buy that. So. Oh, I have a million questions. One. Okay. One. Okay. That should not be the first order on the menu with. Dude, and the, and and the, and the thought. It, have you ever watched Lipo happen? Yeah, and it's a passive just, murder. They're, and they're just there, like fucking sunk. Yeah. What the fuck? And no, every girl who's gotten but, lipo but has see, seen a lipo operation and still gets it. But that's to me, that's you, insanity. Do you see the way they jab in and out? As Dude, if I, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, as yeah, if, yeah. As if they're not gonna fucking hit a <laughs> yeah an aorta. Yeah. <laughs> no, for real. Eeny meeny, like they're just missing just... organs, missing organs. It's, <laughs> oh my god! And it's like a baster. I I don't. It's like I heard. And oh, the tubing god. is almost god longer than her. I'm gonna lose my lunch over this. I can't fucking believe it. So funny, funny thing about funny that you mentioned Brazilian butt lift because I I know a girl that that just got one done last week, and she sent me. Oh my god, I, you're you have your pulse on the culture, dude. And, what? And, and, and she sent me and she sent me a Snapchat of her in the shower naked yesterday. Of course. And she was like, I can't wait for, for these, progress. Like, how do she I? Was, she was like, I can't wait for these bruises to heal. And I'm like, Did you get jumped? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? What happened? Did you wear and Tim's she, on Congress? She was like, She was like BBL. And I had to think about it because I didn't see a difference. So this is a girl that I've already been with, but I'm, I'm staring and and she's saying you black and blued. It was like black and blued on her next to her hip, and then but her but it looked the same. I would my dick would hollow same. out and then raisin up, but it looked the same. And then fall and, and then fall off and wither, and then I have to be I'll be nursing it and like misting water on it through like a fiscal season but to get it back funny? to life. That would kill me. She got it done on American soil. So you would think it's at least, huh. you know, the apple of BBLs. She had done in Miami too. That's <laughs> come on. There's she went to there's the Harvard a, there's, Law. There's American. Of get it right. There. Get it tight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Gracioso. And the, and the hardest thing for me to do was not ask, "What am I looking at?" All I see is a black and blue on your hip. Did you get? Did you get fucking? Did good? you call the authorities? Right. <laughs> Were you out protesting? Did you call a report. Yo, you uh, you got the OnlyFans yet? No, I thought about it. No, come on. I can't do it. I found man. yours. You're lying because I don't have one. I found yours. And the one that I use in secrecy is like it's not wild though. All you do is like pull your foreskin back and forward in in a bump in a in a boomerang no. with different filters on it. You know what, you know what helps? <laughs> what foreskin? I'm circumcised. You know, I have a friend who has one. And he once was showing me photos, and I saw one of his OnlyFans pics in his album, and it's him like cropped up on a fucking sink top, trying to make his ass look fatter. And he's completely straight. Well, and, well then, he's and not. that's what I think about OnlyFans. That's why I can never do it. Because can you imagine making a fifty dollar tip for propping your ass up on a fucking sink top? You know, what's now funny? I feel like I stole you, someone's. But you, but you know what's funny? My my own, integrity. My only my only draw against OnlyFans is promoting it. I would have it. If I could blow it up without having to put it on any one of my social medias. Alex would have concussions by now by our OnlyFans content if we felt okay about promoting. That's the thing. You don't make money if you don't promote it. That's so you really need, have to take a step in your life. I see. Well, sometimes I get requests from these fake pages and I'm like, those are people who can't layer that into their regular lives. And they create these new accounts and they just like, let me fucking, let me try Wisconsin. <laughs> like I did, they probably target states or target and then just start following strangers and, and hope to create a thing. I think you... But if you were willing to layer it into your life, so many people you've met in your life are curious what you look like naked. Yeah, no. That no, you 100%. will instantly make crazy. But then the judgment. 
Of course. But but you see, they're not You gotta be okay with that but, period but, if but you do you that. See, they're not they're not entrepreneurial enough. If I made an OnlyFans, I would reach out to Grinder and pay them to promote my OnlyFans. I mean, like, that's why not? It's gotta be mad dough. Why not? To promote your fucking mild Italian sauces. One of my sauces. good guy friends has made like 15k in the last three months just off of fucking who? Good one. You ask me who. That's why I'm asking you who. A good friend. So one of the ones you live with. <laughs> Done. Done. It's Aristotle, right? Because I can't imagine Kyle. <laughs> yeah, no, it's crazy. Yeah, like 15k in the last three months. Aristotle, I feel like he'll probably like talk into the camera and he's just like, <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> and then like, and then review Dragon Ball Z episodes. I don't know. He's just an open-minded kid. But uh, he is, he is, and he can pull it off. But you see, our upbringing is very different. And that me and that, you? No, no, no. Us to him, and that plays a role in it. What? Because we were raised in shame? No, no. I, yeah, I would in literally, I would literally not do it just to avoid being roasted in a group chat. I would throw away 15K to not be roasted in a group chat. Goofy. Yeah. You would too. No, I don't. No. No, I, yeah, I could never. I, I just I just could never. <laughs> stop being. Stop being that insecure, dude. Do you understand that you can have an unboxing business in your DMs? You can't be worrying about your fucking cuticles. I can't believe they put a missing person sign. In Koreatown. <laughs> yeah, I know. Whoever took that seriously probably but really harassed they, a lot of they, people. Did they put his American name or his... No, it was like Yotsu Mitsara. <laughs> <laughs> did I get it? Oh, my God. Yo, you ever... Uh, I mean, if I'm going to bring this back to like Fuckboy RD for like a hot sec. You ever like t- challenge your post-nut clarity? Like, you ever... Squeeze out the poison before committing to <clears throat> extracurricular activities. Are you referring to jerking off before inviting somebody to hang out? Dude, dude we don't. This is. A, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because every time I've actually done it. Guess what happens to the plans? They don't happen. <laughs> <laughs> they never happen when you do that. Even if you're just going to like a baby shower together? It's fucking brilliant. It's like if you go into your bank app before you're going to go to the bar. It just gives you a layer of accountability. I wouldn't say that's a good analogy because I would know that I have $30 in my account at 22 years old. And I know that I have enough for See, I wouldn't. a cover and a beer. I would look at it once every two weeks. Really? Yeah. And then after I looked at it, four days go by. I completely forget where I'm at, and then I just it just kind of feels a little unlimited again. You know you're teetered. You know you're that's like, a future oh, feels problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I kind of li- like lived my life in the beginning. I saw I found this, I saw this video. If you were a cop, fuck you, fascist! Fuck you, fascist! You're all fucking spit in his face. No, she did. And he just jumped over it. Yeah. He was he was praying for that opening. <laughs> what kind of upbringing do you need to have where you feel you're that tu- like untouchable? I think women need to be careful. Because they Well, they've always had to Not all guys are like you and I where regardless of how many times a woman hits us, we're, we're never going to swing back. But Right, right, right. Sometimes they roll that dice, and they're not always going to get double sixes. I've never been hit by a woman. No. You've been hit by a woman? No, but I'm thinking of I'm thinking of where we grew up. You ghost so fast; they don't even they're not even able to hit you. I'm like, what the fuck did you say to me? <laughs> Missed. <laughs> Fucking vaporized. <laughs> but on a real note, though, no, you have to. You have to. Where are you? Yeah. By the way, dating world. Uh. I don't think I've known last month. What's going on in your life last month? Nothing slapping that, cheeks? No, just nothing, slapping COVID cheeks? No, not even. Nothing Keeping that, that cough not, wet? Nothing that I would divulge on. Um, so just no, I'm not. a QH? A quick hornies? How do you envision you're going to meet the person you end up with? Forever. 
Previevs. How do you envision that's going to happen? Have you ever thought about that? Are you such a field employee at Fuckboy Productions that you haven't even considered that notion yet? How I'm going to meet them? No. On your fucking, on the balls of your toes, dude. I see. In the field, dude. I see. So you haven't even considered that? What? How you're going to meet the person that... Right. How you're... Or even fantasize about it, thought about it, or... or I don't know, dude. God damn it. Any no, version of uh, it. No, 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 no. I, I think I fixated on the fact that if you look for it, you won't find it. How do you think it's going to happen? Maybe now I've kind of aw- woken you up to considering, hey, B- Bill, maybe this lifestyle you're living doesn't really leave you receptive to finding the love of your life. Oh, of course not. So, now that you've given it some thought, your eyes are glassy again. Every girl you meet in the city is more in love with the idea of having somebody by their side instead of falling in love with the idea of who that person is that's by their side. And that shit gets fucking boring. It gets old. No, no, no. You got you to gotta take a risk and gamble every single time, and you have to find somebody that you actually enjoy being with even after you're both butt-ass naked on the floor. Right. You got to not want the time machine. Right. If, I, if, if you don't even want to sit next to this person at breakfast, then <sighs> yeah, chances are you should probably eject out right now. That's, the, that's why you challenge your post-not clarity. If you beat off skis and you want to change plans afterwards, maybe she not the one. You know? Because you just got I it, just, No. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yo, when Shut life, when the life, fuck up. When life is like an unbroken chain of it's green not, lights though. It's, lobbing it's, underhanded softballs really at you not, really while you have a tennis racket. It's really not. And I commend you, dude. For what? The, the field work. But you know what's funny? We, the, when you, the hours as a foot soldier. When you hate me up, when you hate me up and you somehow fabricate these scenarios in your head about what my life is Drake like. Drake lips. I don't even question. I don't even correct you because, yes, think that. Think that about me. Do mm-hmm. you think I'm, I'm out here stiff arming girls on Sunset Boulevard? Think that. Really, I'm trying to see who wants to play Call of Duty with me. Yeah, see, that's fucking crazy, that part of your life. I almost rather you were a fluffy. I almost rather you were on the internet looking for people to fuck that were in full bo- furry bodysuits. A furry, that's what's called a furry. Than a gamer. All those labor hours for, and it's not like hand-eye coordination that is functional. Oh, it is because. It's oh, finger it trigger. Is. No, but it is because no. you're. You're aware no. of everything going on on the screen. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you know what sure. I think? You know what I but think I... made me such a good driver in New York is how quick I was on Call of Duty growing up. Oh, you uh, reaction, reaction time. Good driver. Reaction time? Huh. You have a dissociative personality disorder? That's not even a real thing. Uh-oh. Dissociated personality disorder. Oh, wait. You're just, being a pro more of a threat? Are you trying to say I have DPD? No. You want to have a DP? <laughs> <laughs> you see Alex fall through the door. <laughs> what? <laughs> she's like, why? She's like, we need more lemons pledge. <laughs> um, I'm such a child though, man. I had a lady friend and I was single and I was dating her and she was like, You know what, Phil? You're not really hitting the spot. I don't think we could continue this unless you could enhance our experience. And I was like, and I hit you up. And I was like, Billy, I need you. You have 30 minutes. Really, I mean, considering the commute, you really have like, what, now 18 minutes? Right. I need you over here because we need to double penetrate (laughs) my day. Obviously, this is a different guy. This is a different (laughs) Phil. Different state of mind, different circumstances. That's a different Phil. He's handsome. Now, what would you do? What would you respond? And I, I need you to be in it for me. I need I, you to. I, I would be there for you because I would see it as a friend in yeah. need. Would you take pre workout? A pre workout, an espresso would you shot. Like not hide. <laughs> an espresso a, shot, caffeine? And, and a shot of tequila. Oof, you like to gamble in the maybe even territory. A, maybe even an Adderall, depending on how dire That's the situation That's ridiculous. Is. You've never taken an Adderall coffee. If, you're, if you garnish yourself to the point where your dick don't work, 
and I went through the steps of calling you and coming by here, and you be an ineffective intern, you may run a train, but you will bike home. Damn, yeah, that's fire, at dog. Not, at least it's not after anal. That, that's all you, dog. That's all you. <laughs> dog. I'm like, that's that's Billy's reserve oh, parking spot. The real, the real best friends of Simi Valley? What are you doing? Do you think we'd be capable of uh, a double penetration? As, as well no, as no, I, no, as no. Well, I know, as, I know. As You're as considering well, my as girth. Well, as well as I know you and as long as I've known you, I don't think I'd ever be comfortable with that with because anybody. Because our penis bellies have to like ham well, sandwich. Well, well, do you think we would hug while doing it? First of all, she's between us. No, she's in front of us. What angle would you take? Would you take the north or the south? I would. Because you're like all torso. Right. Like Mr. Incredible. But you're also with more a flexible, fever. so you're be, you'd be able to squat and hold it longer. Wait, what are you considering right now? I'm I need a whiteboard. Angles. Which is we know. Are we going side to side or are we going north and south? Or are we going No, that's a see 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 that's a spit roast. The side the side <laughs> that's a spit roast when one's hitting it and one's getting head. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a th- that's a train. That's a spit no, roast. That's three, a train that's is a just a train is no, no you're saying one double girl you're saying and du- more than one. Alright, so let's clarify because you're saying du- double penetration, I'm thinking one whole double double penetration. <laughs> that is beyond never, never, <laughs> never net. Never, bro. Never, bro. All right, I'm thinking close holes. First of all, do close you not holes, understand the kind of neighborship vagina that's why asshole I'm has? You could be in. I could be in an asshole. You could be in the vagina, and I will literally be like, "Could you turn on the fucking volume?" <laughs> it's the, bro. They're like, they're like, I know they're like this far apart. Yeah, I think we. I think if we do that, that would require reconstruction. I'm so surgery. glad this is gonna end up in the end of the episode. This that is buck would, nice. That would require reconstructive surgery for the participant. Um, Yo, I'll piggyback on that completely. But you, I would picture it because you're all torso. You have you'd be laying down. She had to lay on on you. So sorry. And then you, and then your and knees and then your knees would be no. right outside of my knees. And I'd be laying down, and you'd have left knee. Damn, right son. Knee. No, my position is disgusting, dude. What's your position? Fuck. I wish we had two. I wish we had two action figures <laughs> and a Barbie. Now you would need three. Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but it's just us two, and, <laughs> just, and it's just me, it's just two guys doing doggy, and I'm like crazy, <laughs> huh? <laughs> and then it, that's my coming out, I'm like crazy, huh? <laughs> but yo, oh my god, we'll have to figure this out. We need like a no, architect like, paper like a with protractor. A do you think porn do directors this? do this when they're setting up scenes? What's huh. the thing they called when they fucking? I hate. What's the thing they called? What's they called when actors sit down and they, and they start reading the scripts all together? Um, table reads. Yes. Do you think they have table readings for for pornos? <laughs> <laughs> let me let me heavy moan let me slam that load you're my worst stepbrother and then mom what the fuck are you doing here mom goes hey sweetie let me show you how your dad likes it <laughs> uh we'd like if you include <laughs> father <laughs> uh that is we need you to be casual as a yeah. Father role. Yeah, yeah can you direct a little bit give a little no but seriously are there table readings for porns? I don't know. Know. I mean, are you just like they're sitting around the table <laughs> and they're just they're mattress and, and then the director's like, I need you to give me more uh, more wetness, more orgasm on that. Yes, daddy. <laughs> I need I'm not hearing the broken home. <laughs> Isn't it crazy to think about how if you go on Pornhub now, you realize how many stepbrothers and sisters there are in the world? They're not. I know. They have a whole channel to the Dedicated. I'll to see a guy who claims to be stepbrother. Brother. I'm like, I know your whole channel. resume. They have a whole channel dedicated to bratty step siblings. I don't know how it became a thing. I can't relate because you never knew there was a market for step. People obsessions. just want to do what they aren't allowed to do, and that's the most like basic thing. Would you be able to? If, let's this say is not your family, so but it's your family. Hypothetically, hypothetically speaking, if you grew up in a broken home, and your stepsister was like Lana Rhodes. I hear that name, bro. I don't like any big name porn actresses. I like bad pixelated amateur stuff that I feel like I can be a part of. Like stolen only. Yeah, you like something. I don't want overproduced. Sometimes you catch a porn. But I hate I hate unrealistic shit like morning sex porn. Unrealistic. Yeah. Look, can you imagine rolling over and on a, on some hygiene shit alone? I, you know I don't fuck with morning. That I do know. I know how Adam and But you, you hit some doggy in the morning. That's what you do. You hit some doggy in the morning. How are you breathing when hitting dog in the morning? Are you through your nose, right? 
She's bent over, dude. No, you. You're not just <sighs> like a hound. Really? With the windows closed in the winter? Like, and dude, the heat on? Do you have a dead molar? No, but it is, I wear Invisalign. Just live your life. <laughs> live your life. Do you have a You smoke dick? cigarettes. Do you know what girls tolerate to be around you? Do you still smoke cigarettes? You don't? Don't lie to me. Because there was a pack I've of Marlboros pack, in your I've car when I went in about a, a week ago. And that pack has been sitting there for a month and a yeah, half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, if you look at it, there's still only one cigarette missing out of it. No, I didn't touch it. I'm going to ask this one more time because you've been ducking and weaving. How do you envision meeting the woman of your life? I got mine. And Gary has his. That's why I ask. So... What is so? Do you feel like I so? Need, how do you so even? Do you envision? feel like I need one? I need to no, solve no. this. We want one. We want you to have one. Do you really? Yeah. Do you guys have this conversation on your own? No. Is this We've never right? had this conversation, and I and I bet you I speak for him. Do you think having having that somebody by your side brings balance to your life, and that anything helps you? I guess propel you in the right direction. Yeah. No. Of course. And because you were a late bloomer, I'm like, Billy. You know, he's, he's 30 and still playing the field. Because he had that later bloom. Me and Gary, and you watched us. We were out there with our swords and our nunchucks by May, what, 17? On our ball, on the balls of our feet. We were young warriors. And that allowed us to feel the market for the wet spot. When you find your partner straight up, and you're both just now like together, and then in your own goals or whatever, and you eliminate the need for new pussy, and you even maybe some guys even use the excuse and move or and move in with a, uh, with their girlfriends on purpose to be like kind of pushed into a position where you got to be a good boy. All right, I'm going to end this on a pretentious moment. That's right, martini boys. Oh, you know it's fucking over when you suck down that other olive stuffed with pickled blue cheese from who knows what facility. How let your boy Billy, thank you so much for coming in. Always a good time. Always a, always a delightful time. Right. Grandma Naked Studios, we're done. We're out. And Grandma's naked. Uh -huh.